we have full confidence that we can go on. We're getting resumes from all over. We're getting offers from all over. People are jumping in to help us. We've made a ton of friends in this thing since we've been in. A lot of talented people right now are reaching out to us, and we're in right in the process right now of forming a team that we know can still lead us to victory. So we have full confidence in our ability to keep going. But the timing of that, them walking away from you right now. The, time, the timing doesn't matter. It's not, it's not the timing. It's how you react, and we are ready to react, and we're doing it right now. You just heard from North Carolina's Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, whose campaign for governor just imploded in the aftermath of a CNN report about comments he made on a porn website in their message board, which we will absolutely be getting to, don't you worry. But first, I want to talk about his campaign's implosion because it is so catastrophic on so many levels, even though he's putting on a really happy face for cameras. As journalist Yashar Ali points out, high-level staffers have resigned in mass, including his campaign manager, his deputy campaign manager, along with his senior advisor and finance director. This is so bad, and it's to the point where there are just about three campaign staffers left. We're talking about a statewide race here with less than two months left to go, and he has nobody working for him. So this is devastating, to say the least. And to make matters worse, as the National Review reports, the Republican Governors Association has completely cut him off. They've canceled a fundraiser with him, and they're not doing ad buys for him any longer. And to add insult to injury, Trump did a rally in North Carolina and reportedly didn't invite Mark Robinson and didn't even mention Mark Robinson's name once. So Mark Robinson is up shit creek without a paddle, and he's now scrambling to try to pick up the pieces of his failing campaign. But I actually think it's just too late. Even if he could rebuild his entire campaign infrastructure within two months, he's lost the trust of Republicans in that state. He ran as an anti-LGBTQ plus family values Republican who is the ultimate hypocrite. And in the aftermath of his campaign imploding, he's now threatening CNN for breaking the story in the first place. And he's trying to get voters to not look at the details of the story because I think that he knows that if they saw the details and the evidence that CNN provided that links him to this account, it would be devastating. But here's what he's saying about CNN. You've talked about the, the reporting being salacious lies, not true. Have you taken steps then to prove we, it's not you? We absolutely are. We absolutely are. We're, we're, we are. we're in talks right now, everything up to legal counsel to take CNN to task for what they have done to us. We are, we are going after them, okay? We are going to go after them for what they've done. But we have five weeks left in this race, folks, and make no mistake about it. We are not going to let CNN throw us off of our mission. Our mission is to win this race. And quite frankly, I am dismayed about the fact, as I said before, think about how many people out there right now, right in the place where we are right now, who are hooked on fentanyl, who are hooked on, uh, on opioids, and how many will die tonight because of it. Think about what's going on on our border. Subtle. Look, squirrel. I mean, isn't it amazing? <laughs> It's so amazing. <laughs> Nothing can make you look more guilty than brazenly trying to just like distract by saying, oh, well, yeah, I know that this thing is really bad, but have you seen this other thing? It's so, it's so obvious. It's like the biggest tell ever. And side note, why does everything happen when I take a week off from politics? Like I stopped making videos for one week. What you saw last week was all pre-recorded, and we didn't just get the Mark Robinson leaks. We got the Ashley Madison leaks that allegedly include the email address of Republican operative Chris Rufo, as well as senior advisor Jason Miller to the Trump campaign. Uh, so there's that. And there's also um, the uh, Matt Gates story that came out where he allegedly attended a drug-fueled sex party for one of his lobbyist friends, and it turns out that a minor was also at that same party. Now, on top of that, journalist Olivia Nuzzi of New York Magazine was placed on leave for allegedly having an intimate relationship with RFK Jr. while covering his campaign, which is gross on so many levels. But I mean, why does this all have to happen when I'm not making videos? Really, can we not, can we not wait for the big stories until I'm back? Fuck. But of course, you know, I digress. Let's talk about Mark Robinson because he's losing support from Republicans and his own staffers because of how damaging the CNN story is. And by now, I'm sure that you've heard people talk about the story, but I have to get to these leaks because you can't understand why it's so bad for his campaign if you're not familiar with the leaks themselves. So if you haven't seen this, you know, or if you have seen this, skip ahead. I'll put some timestamps down below. But if you haven't seen these, these leaks yet, buckle up because 
This is just a small taste of the things that he posted on that message board. CNN reports, many of Robinson's comments were gratuitously sexual and lewd in nature. They were made between 2008 and 2012 on Nude Africa, a pornographic website that includes a message board. The comments were made under the username Mini Soldier, a moniker Robinson used frequently online. Despite a recent history of anti-transgender rhetoric, Robinson said he enjoyed watching transgender pornography. Oh, what a shocker that is. Or view of archived messages found, in which he also referred to himself as a perv. Writing in a forum discussing black Republicans in October of 2010, Robinson stated unprovoked, I'm a black Nazi. Quote, slavery is not bad. Some people need to be slaves. I wish they would bring it back. I would certainly buy a few, he wrote. In March of 2012, Robinson wrote that he preferred the former leader of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, over the leadership in Washington during the administration of Barack Obama. Quote, I take Hitler over any of the shit that's in Washington right Right now, he wrote, and there is so much more, but I just want to remind you because this is so insane that he said all of this in the forum of a porn website. You know, they talk about porn, of course, but it gets political sometimes. And when I say political, I mean real fascistic, actually Hitlerian. It's just it's so wild. Now, there was also talk of him uh, admitting to peeping on women as a teenager. And he also said, and I quote, I was really pumping the dookie shoot. And he said this about his wife's sister, apparently. Now, it hasn't been confirmed if he actually cheated on his wife with her sister or if she even exists. But he pumped somebody's dookie shoot, according to him. Uh, and he said it proudly. On top of that, he also talked about watching a woman's... <laughs> he talked about watching a woman's butthole flex while she peed on his chest. So I'm not going to kink shame, but like this is the ultimate evangelical. Uh, I'm the purest person. LGBTQ plus people are filth. But here he is talking about pumping his wife's sister's dookie shoot and um, then goes on to judge everybody else. Interesting, isn't it? Now, we didn't even get to the anti-Semitism and the use of anti-Semitic slurs, the Islamophobia, the Islamophobic slurs, the homophobic slurs, and the slander of MLK Jr., which is really ironic for the fact that Trump described him in the following way. This is Martin Luther King on steroids, okay? Now, I told that, I told that, I told that to Mark. I said... I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. And he looked at me, and I wasn't sure, was he angry because that's a terrible thing to say, or was he complimented? I have never figured it out. Well, it turns out you have your answer, Trump. He was offended, but not for the reason you think he was. You know, when you say something like that, it's so stupid and racist that even Trump is like, hmm, is that stupid and racist? But no, 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 he was offended because you you compared him to MLK Jr., who he thinks is a commie bastard. That's what he said about MLK Jr. on this form, too. But let's get to his response because he's obviously denying it because that's what Republicans do. But let's watch his denial that was recorded before the story was published. And I'm showing you this one because he's basically saying the same thing. But uh, I'm going to show you what he says, and then we're going to get to the evidence, and then I'm going to let you decide if he's telling the truth or not. But first and foremost, here's his response. Let me reassure you, the things that you will see in that story, those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. Uh, folks, this race right now, our opponents are desperate to sit, shift the focus here from the substantive issues and focus on what you are concerned with to salacious tabloid trash. We cannot allow that to happen. And folks, we've seen this type of stuff in the past as well. Clarence Thomas famously once said he was the victim of a high tech lynching. Well, it looks like Mark Robinson is too, by a man who refuses to stand on stage and debate me about the real issues that face you. Instead, they want to focus on salacious tabloid lies. We're not going to let them do that. We are staying in this race. We are in it to win it. So he is emphatically denying that those posts were made by him. He never called himself a Nazi or talked about wanting Hitler to be the leader over Obama, never talked about pumping Duke shoots. Those posts were made by somebody, but it wasn't him, according to him. Okay. Let's look at the evidence courtesy of CNN who broke the story. First and foremost, the username that he had on Nude Africa is the same exact username, mini soldier, that he used on all other social media websites like Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube. Not to mention, he used his full name 
on those websites with that username. Hmm, seems a little bit sus, but there's more. Aside from having the same username, he also listed the same biological data there that he had on other platforms. So on the porn website, he shared information about his location. He's in Greensboro. He shared his age, even the length of time he's been married to his wife, which lines up perfectly with the time that he made those posts on Nude Africa. But it gets even more incriminating for him because they also tracked multiple uncommon phrases that only he tends to use, and he used those phrases on nude africa such as frogs fat ass or frogs behind he also said uh don't give two shakes gag a maggot which is something that i think literally only he's ever said and also dunderhead in other words they've got him dead to rights you could have sold me if you just saw him using the gag a maggot phrase on nude africa because that's like such a weird phrase that i don't think i've ever seen anybody else use but they have so much evidence tying him to this account it's just, they've got him, right? He knows it. Republicans know it. His staffers know it. Hence why they're abandoning him in mass. And he has like three people left at the time that I record this video, unless that's changed. Don't think he's going to get many volunteers right now, right? And if he does get people sign up for him who still want him to win just because, you know, uh, they want him over the Democrat, not going to be the most experienced or talented people, especially when you've got mm, a couple months left until November. So, He's already down in the polls, right? He was down before the scandal came out. So the question is, what exactly is going to happen now? Can't really drop out because it's too late. Yet, he has no time to rebuild his campaign. So what are they going to do? Well, the question really is, what the fuck can they do? They're just chalking this up to a loss. Republicans just have to accept this one's an L for them. And I don't blame them because at this point, this really is a lost cause. I mean, could he still theoretically win? Sure, it's America, so anything's possible, but it's bad. This is so bad. I don't know that we've seen something like this with regard to a campaign in modern American history. I mean, there's been scandals, but everybody is leaving him. The Republican Governors Association is abandoning him. Donald Trump, who's been found liable for rape, is like, mm, even I don't want anything to do with that guy. He tried to overthrow the last election, and Trump's like, mm, that's a bridge too far even for me. Things are bad. And listen, when I first did a video talking about him, I said that he made Marjorie Greene look sane, and that's so true. But I mean, if he were to win, uh, it would be a new low for the GOP. But thankfully, his own hypocrisy came back to bite him in the ass in such a massive way that I don't think anybody could have predicted this. I don't think that he would have expected his old forum posts on a porn website that's really obscure to be dug up by, uh, you know, journalists. But it happened. And it's a pretty common phenomenon as far as GOP politicians are concerned when it comes to, like, their hypocrisy blowing up in their faces. But again, I don't know that it's blown up in any Republican's face this badly, this close to an election, right? At least in modern history. But damn, does it feel good to watch it happen. So yeah, Mark Robinson, he's still going strong, not going anywhere according to him, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'd be curious to know how well he does. Will Republicans stick with him, even though he's the ultimate hypocrite? He says he's pro-family values, very much is not in favor of family values, deeply anti-Semitic, homophobic, transphobic, while watching trans porn. There's just so much there that anyone who supports him, uh, I just feel like you you, you have to admit you're not a serious person. But look, I'm sure he's going to get some votes still. We'll see what happens. But it's going to be interesting to watch him try to pick up the pieces because, man, is this fucking bad for him. Penis and balls. Vagina. Pe pe penis and balls. Vagina. Pe pe P word and balls vagina. P, P, P word and balls vagina. A a ass gum. Ass gum. Ass gum. Vagina. She stroked my face with the vagina. She stroked my penis and balls.